Hey what's going on guys, this is Ben, or Ben and Jay, and today I'm just bringing you guys a quick little commentary over Doom Reckoning's gameplay, and um, this gameplay is something else, honestly, he's using an SMG on Map Sovereign, and he managed to drop you guys a double chem strike, which, you know, that kind of like speaks for itself, this guy's quite clearly an amazing player, and he does this using the SMG, and he's full rushing around, I don't think there's pretty much any moment where he's stood still, so, please check out Reckoning's channel, uh, if you enjoy the commentary, uh, check out my channel, I guess. But anyways guys, let's get on with commentary topic on hand, and um, this is a bit of a weird one. I don't think anyone has really done this on this channel yet, or I've done it on any sort of like community or you know, clan channel, and that is actually replying to another commentator. Um, I can't remember who exactly did this, I'm thinking it might be Fierce, I'm really sorry it was a really old video, it's actually like another double chem strike on that Sovereign, so I guess that's a bit weird, but um, pretty much he talks about quotes on movies from a uh, sorry movies from a line lines from movies which kind of like stick out and make him change who he is and pretty much I, I think the example he gave was something like there's beauty in the small things or beauty in the little things or something. I'm really sorry I've, I should have thought, like done more research I guess. But um he picks one and he's pretty much like stuck by and says it was like one of the best ones uh, for him in a way. For me, there's a few. One of which uh, was actually from I think it's called After Earth with like Will Smith and Jaden Smith. And um, one of the things that was said in that movie was fear is a choice. And just that, like, that pretty much, like, you know, it, it speaks for itself. Fear is a choice. Like, the dangers are real. You know, the consequences are there. However, this whole emotions that you're feeling beforehand is pretty much your prediction of the future, which may not even happen. And this whole fear is a choice little, you know, speech that Will Smith gives is 100% right. You could link it in with just about anything. Pretty much act now and regret it later, maybe, or maybe you won't have anything to regret, that's what I'm trying to say, that's one line from one movie, which in my opinion is probably one of the best things to live by, the second line isn't from a movie nor a book, uh, at least from my knowledge I don't think, and um, lately I've heard it a lot, but like I've always had this in my mind since like, I don't know, for like a few years now, and that is, don't settle for anything less but the best, and um, just, just about saying, okay, just, just listen to it again, don't settle for anything less but the best. That pretty much drives me to be the best I could possibly be. I don't know what it is, that is like really motivational for me. Because that makes me want to be a better person. It makes me want to have high standards of myself. High standards of everything I'm doing. Whether it's YouTube, sports, school, anything like that. I want to be the best at. And, you know, some people might argue, oh, you're just trying to be cocky. No, I'm just trying to be honest with you guys. If I do something, I want to be the freaking man at it. I want to be the best person at it. And, um, you know, in some cases... I can't be, and you know, that's just something I have to get over, and I'm not, you know, one of those super competitive guys who, you know, cry for losing a game of football, um, but at the same time, I'm not one of those people who just don't give a crap, I, whatever I'm doing, I want to be good at, and that is kind of like a motto to like, kind of like live by if you want to be determined, don't settle for anything less than the best, say you got your eye on a girl, uh, don't settle for anything less than the best, if you're, if you've got that eye on that perfect girl, Chase it. Obviously not chase it, you might get like a restraining order or something, but um, you know, go for her. Don't settle for her, you know, less attractive best friend or whatever. Don't do any of that crap. Just keep on going and eventually you'll get it. If you want it bad enough, you will get it. And uh, that's pretty much like what I live by. Ever since I was about 10 years old when I heard this, I just pretty much stood by it. And since then, I feel like I've became more confident. I've became, you know, more sportive, I've became more active. I've just became a better me and uh, it sounds really cheesy and you know grab your snorkels benage is going deep but uh, that's the honest truth the next line is from a song i think it's from jake miller and um, he says it's not about the days in your life but life in your days and uh, besides it being catchy and rhyming um it really did stick in and it made me think okay you could live to be 100 so what's that like 36,000 days i guess i'd like give or take not too great maths so if you guys didn't take any risks and you pretty much had like the most average slash boring life uh, not you know some of you guys might like want to have an average life where you know you're not too bothered about becoming famous you're not too bothered about having like a highly paid job i mean that, that's kind of how i am now like yeah i want to be a paramedic a paramedics are like superly overly paid uh i'm you know they're not really famous have they? but you know if you want to say have what in your opinion is a boring job and you just get everything you know in life safely like you have like a nice family but you don't really go out too much or you don't go on holidays or experience too much then you might end up regretting something and then um, for me, the main thing in my life is I don't want to regret anything, and it, once again, I sound like I'm going really deep and serious, but um, that's the honest truth, I, I don't want to regret anything in my life, and if I stick by that song, uh, by actually having each day rememberable, uh, if that's a word, um, then 
you know, I have nothing to really regret, I guess. I mean, like, you learn from your mistakes, so even if you take a risk and it doesn't work out for you, learn from it, improve yourself. That's pretty much what I think. Sorry for the serious commentary. <laughs> Hopefully you guys didn't, like, get, I don't know, depressed, I guess. I don't know. I don't want you guys to be upset. I kind of want this to be, like, a bit of a motivational video more than anything. But, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. If you enjoy the gameplay, check out Doom Reckoning's channel. If you enjoy the commentary, check out my channel. I'll be uploading a lot more frequently. Uh, that is in case you guys have already subscribed because I've actually taken a break. So, this is, like, my first commentary back. But, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you liked the video, please like it. Remember to comment in the comment section down below. But, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Have a nice day. See ya.